Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? I hope you had a very nice uh, weekend and also uh, that you have rest a lot. So, and uh, before we move on, remember that today is the uh, class number 15. That means that tonight we have to move on and finish this homework, the 2.14. That is this one. And well, it has two exercises in one. And then uh, remember that once you finish that one, we need to move on to the midterm test. So we need to finish these options. Okay. And uh, remember that this one has four parts. So we have to finish part one. And then we have to move to part number two. And then once you finish that one, we need to move to part number three. And once you finish that one, you need to finish part number four. So it's very important that you finish that so we can move on, okay? And then tomorrow we'll be starting the uh, unit number three. So please remember to move on with the platform and continue with that one, so, all right. We are going to check the attendance. Let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Present teacher. Good. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Good, Blanca. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Áviles Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher, present. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. And Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Perfect. All right. So let's continue with the class. And. Hello? Uh -huh. Ramiro, eh, le saluda. Ah, ok. Eh, es, decir, es referente al homework de 1.7. Uh -huh. eh, so you say, uh, which one 2.7? 1.7. Homework. 1.7. You remember you have a problem if you number one, that's okay. 1.7. Yes, so I reported that one, but I don't know when it's going to be fixed. So probably it's going to be in two days, in three months, so, but I reported that one. Okay. okay. Good, perfect. I will not, don't do it. Uh, Uh, I... ah, dice que se le oye cortado no, se le... hola ya yeah. so puede pasar por ahí problemas con yes problem with my uh, wifi excuse me okay no worries that that happens so not not a problem at all okay yes I reported that one so whenever it's fixed I will let you know okay And uh, 
let's continue with the class then. So we're going to speak a bit uh, about warehouse management. Um, what do you remember about warehouse management? So we'll speak a little bit more about that one. So what is that? Do you remember anything about warehouse management? La bodega, no? Yeah, the management of the warehouse, right? So that means that, uh, remember that there on the warehouse is where everything is stuck, uh, when everything is moved. Uh, so we're going to speak a little bit more about that one. So let's see. Okay, hold on a second. So what is warehouse management? Let's see. Um, Blanca, could you please help me read in the first slide? Okay. Um, we de um, describe the fundamentals of weather, warehouse management. Mm -hmm. This is warehouse management. Warehouse man management encompasses the principles. Encompasses. Encompasses. Encompasses the principles. 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 Principles and processes in involved in running the day. The day today operation of a warehouse at a high level. This includes receiving and organi organizing warehouse space, scheduling labor, scheduling, scheduling labor, managing, managing inventory and fulfilling orders. Some enclosures and you'll see that effective warehouse management involves optimizing and <laughs> integrating each of those processes to ensure of all aspects of a warehouse operating work together to increase productivity and keep cost low. Very good. So what is warehouse management? So is uh, it says encompasses. So that is exactly the same as in Spanish. The principles and processes involved in running the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse. So as I was telling you, this is about everything relating to the warehouse. Uh, being in the warehouse is not only uh, having a space for uh, having all the products, right? So it's the movements, it's everything that is relating to that one. So at a high level, this includes receiving and organizing warehouse space, scheduling labor. So uh, it means that we need to manage the people and what time they are going to be moving up. Managing inventory, of course, that is one of the most important things because you need uh, to move supplies, to move uh, finished products, and things like that, and fulfilling orders. So uh, whenever a customer place an order, uh, a lot of movement happens in the warehouse. So it starts the process of the delivery. Zoom in closer, and you'll see that effective warehouse management involves optimizing and integrating each of those processes to ensure all aspects of a warehouse operation work together to increase productivity and keep costs low. The last part is very important. Keep costs low, meaning that this is money, right? So if you are efficient, if everything is in the right place at the right time, actually there is a, a philosophy, a, a method that is called just in time. I don't know if you have heard about that one, but the just in time is that exact. Not before and not after, just in the right moment. Everything has to flow. Everything has to move. So that is warehouse 
managing everything inside of the warehouse. Uh, do you have any question here? Any word that you don't know? Okay, let's move on then. The next one is for, let's see, Ernesto, could you please help me reading this? Yes, teacher. Benefits of warehouse management. Warehouse operations are generally invisible to customers, but they play a vital behind the essence role in essence role in ensuring on time delivery to achieve this goal. Good warehouse management ensures all warehouse processes run as efficiently and accurately as possible. For example, warehouse management involves optimizing the use of warehouse space to maximize inventory storage, making inventory easy for staff to think, to find ensuring adequate staffing, efficiently fulfilling orders, and coordinating communication with suppliers and transportation companies so material arrive and order ship on time. The benefits of good warehouse management, namely fast, high quality service at a low cost, can ripple out to the in, entire supply chain and strengthening relationships with suppliers as well as customers. But given the many elements involved, optimizing warehouse management can be a complex, a complex task. That's why many organizations are turning to warehouse management systems for help. Very good, perfect. So uh, there are many benefits, of course, and uh, it's, uh, it's something that is really with all the logistics. The most basic is that one, right? So it's uh, uh, like the heart, let's say, of the logistics, because it's the way that you are going to keep it. That one. So it says warehouse operations are generally invisible to customers. That is true. Nobody sees, right? I mean, nobody knows what happens in, for example, a Curaçao warehouse. They have a lot of inventory, there are a lot of stocks, but we don't know what's going on. But they play a vital behind the scenes. What is behind the scenes? Anybody knows? Okay, this is like a movie. When you say behind the scenes is what happens when they are filming a movie, something like that. So what happens in the back, uh, in the op in operative part? So you know, or you see only the product, but you don't know all the people that they have worked, all the hands that have touched that product, all the processes that a uh, company has been through. So you have the product in your hand. So that is behind the scenes. Role in ensuring on-time delivery. It's very important remembering that is on time, not in time. Please never say time. That is incorrect. That is Spanish. So in English, we say on time, all time. To achieve this goal, good warehouse management ensures all warehouse processes run as efficiently and accurately as possible. Do you remember what is accurately? Acertadamente. Very good, perfect. For example, warehouse management involves optimizing the use of warehouse space to maximize inventory storage. So that is one of the first benefits, right? You need to maximize the inventory storage. So that means that you need to know exactly how much product do, do you have in the warehouse, uh, how much products are you going to move to the stores, how much product is going to enter into the warehouse, how you are going to move everything. All the movements inside of the warehouse are in here, okay? 
Making inventory easy for staff to find. That is another key thing. If you have 2,000 products, you need to know where exactly is each of the products. Ensuring adequate staffing. Again, very important because you need people to be moving all the inventory inside of the warehouse. All the uh, product has to be uh, coming from point A, point A to point B. Efficiently fulfilling orders. Oh, that is very, very important because when a customer place an order um, in the warehouse, they need to be sure that the uh, product is going to go out and be delivered, right? Um, what else? It says, in coordinating communication with suppliers, and transportation companies so materials arrive and orders ship on time. The benefits of good warehouse management, namely fast, high quality service at low cost. But that is the most basic answer. That line is the core of the warehouse management. Something that is fast, high quality, and service uh, and at low cost, very cheap, the cheapest that is possible. Okay, can ripple out. Do you know what is ripple out? Okay, when you say ripple out, it's like when you say that it's, uh, it's going to decide if something is fast or it's going to take other ways. It is going to be stuck. So that would be a ripple out. To the entire supply chain. Strengthening, do you know what is strengthening? Fortalecer. Very good. Strengthening relationships with suppliers as well as customers. Very important that part because uh, in the warehouse, they are the ones that are in, in communication with the suppliers and also with the customers. So it's a very important part. But given the many elements involved, optimizing warehouse management can be a complex task. That's why many organizations are turning to warehouse management systems for help. That is another thing that we're going to check. Uh, warehouse management systems. In the past, it was very complicated, right? To manage everything inside of a warehouse. But now, because of the technology and because of a lot of systems, is a little bit more convenient. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's see who's going to read this one. Uh, Aida Lopez, could you please help me reading this? Yes, click. What is a warehouse management system? A warehouse management system is a software solution that aims to simplify the complexity of managing a warehouse, often provided as a part of an integrated enterprise resource planning suite of business application. A WMS can support and help to optimize, optimize every optimize every aspect of warehouse management. For example, a WMS CAM, all the pattern, yes? Uh, uh, yes, please. Okay. Leverage data and automation to conduct demand analysis, forecast sales and create efficient daily operating plans. Provide real time insight into inventory location and quantity. Quanti quantity. 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 Uh, share data with other ERP modules of or a standard a standalone software product, such as accounting software and transportation management solution to increase the efficiency of business operation. Monitor and report productivity to offer deeper I, deeper understanding of how efficiently your warehouse is operating 
and where you can make improvement in to warehouse geography and optimize space. Create a state by state direction to guide user through daily processes, such as receiving, picking, and packing orders using predefined rules. Very good, perfect. So uh, that is something that came from the previous slide, right? A warehouse management system. So uh, this is not only management, it's a whole system that is going to help you manage everything into the warehouse. So it says a warehouse management system that we know as a WMS. It's a software solution that aims. What is aims? Do you remember? Okay, aims que apunta. That aims to simplify the complexity of managing a warehouse. So definitely, uh, to manage everything in a warehouse is very complex. But with a software uh, system for this one, it's easier. Often provided as part of an integrated enterprise resource planning. So remember that ERP is an enterprise resource planning. So it's a plan of resources inside of a company, okay? Suit of business applications. And this is very interesting because that is true. In a company, in a large companies, um, there are a lot of software for different things, for accounting, for sales, and of course, for management. So all those are ERP, Enterprise as Resource Planning. And so there are different applications that are integrated. So everything is linked. Uh, so that is a very important part. So it says a WMS can support and help to optimize every aspect of warehouse management. For example, a WMS can, and here we are going to chat everything uh, that the management system can do for you. Leverage data. Do you remember what is leverage? Okay, leverage, it can be like impulsar, applicar, something like that. Data and automation. That word is very important. Automation to conduct demand analysis. Forecast sales. What is forecast? Do you remember? Okay, forecast, pronosticar, forecast sales. So for example, right now, a lot of companies, they have forecast sales uh, in for the Black Friday, right? Black Friday is coming and a lot of people get crazy to buy many things. So they have a, a number, a target that they want to achieve. Uh, so that is to forecast sales and create efficient daily operating plans, definitely. So that is the first thing that you can do with the software. The next one says provide real-time insight into inventory location and quantity. That is amazing. Because you go into the software, you want to know how many of a product do you have in the warehouse and where is that located? And you will be able to, to check into that. The next one says share data with other ERP. Uh, let's see if you remember what is, what is ERP? Enterprise Resource and Plan. Very good, perfect. So share data with other ERP modules or standalone software products. What is standalone? Okay, standalone is uh, separado, algo solo. Algo que, por ejemplo, no vaya dentro de un paquete, sino que es un solo producto. En este caso, un solo software. So, like as a, a teacher, uh -huh. like an independent. Something like that, like independent, in this case, a software. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, such as accounting software, as I was telling you, and transportation management solution to increase the efficiency of business operations. So, this is a module in the, in the warehouse where if a 
there is an order, for example, that product goes out of the warehouse, but at the same time, uh, it, it goes into the cell system and goes into the accountant uh, system. So remember that a product that is there in the warehouse uh, is causing uh, a cost. But whenever they move to sales, to delivery, that is not a cost anymore, but it's going to be an income uh, with a little profit to that one. So this is amazing, everything that is related. The next one, uh, it says monitor and report productivity to offer a deeper understanding of how efficiently your warehouse is. So that is very good, productivity, a report. You will be able to create graphics and charts to understand what is going on there. And where you can make improvements to warehouse geography and optimize space. So uh, all the companies that they have a warehouse, they always try to optimize the space. And the last one says, create step-by-step -step directions to guide users through daily processes, such as receiving, picking, and packing orders using predefined rules. So definitely, you will be able to create a process so everybody understands how to do different things inside of the warehouse. For example, receiving supplies, picking supplies or products, packing orders, and many other things that happens inside of a warehouse. Okay, uh, do you have any questions here? Good, let's move on. Inventory management versus warehouse management. It is not the same, definitely. So let's see, Sylvia, Patricia, could you please help me reading this slide? Okay, inventory management versus warehouse management. Before getting into the details or warehouse management, it may help it may help to understand a few common terms. For example, the terms inventory management and warehouse management are often used interchangeably. Inter interchangeably. Thank you, interchangeable, changeable. But there are key difference. Inventory management. Inventory management is certain of efficiently and effective, effectively, uh, effectively, effectively, ordering, storing, moving, and pick, picking the picking. materials needed to make products or fulfill orders. Warehouse management. Warehouse management management is a broader term and includes other aspects or warehouse operations, such as warehouse organization and design, labor, order, fulfillment, warehouse mon monitoring, and reporting. Perfect. Thank you very much. So, uh, yes, it's very similar, but not the same. Okay, so that's why it says, before getting into details, of warehouse management, it may be uh, helpful to understand a few common terms. For example, the terms inventory management and warehouse management are often used interchangeably. What is interchangeably? Intercambiable. Very good, perfect, that is it. But there are key differences. What is key differences? It's like the uh, main difference, something very like Nice, main difference. It's key is like something that is very important, right? So inventory management is centered on efficiently and effectively ordering, storing, moving, and picking the materials needed to make products or fulfill orders. So that is related to, to supplies, to raw materials, and also finished goods for you to, to check into that one, okay, to uh, 
to create a product of fulfilling order. On the other hand, uh, we have uh, warehouse management. It's a broader term. So broader, what is broader? Okay, broader is como amplio, más amplio. So it's a broader term that includes other aspects of warehouse operations, such as warehouse organization and design. So that is very important. Sometimes the layout of a warehouse can change depending on the need. So that is part of warehouse management, but it's not part of inventory management. Labor, that is the people that work in the warehouse, right? So what are the requirements? What are the schedules that they are going to follow? Order fulfillment, so it's going to be not to, to move the uh, products or another move some, but also uh, to connect with the delivery. So get in touch with the transportation uh, services. Warehouse monitoring and report. So yes, it's going to be also a matter of monitor everything that is going on inside of the warehouse and create reports, charts, graphics, things like that. So inventory management is only related to moving or getting uh, management only on the supplies or the finished goods. But warehouse management is more than that. It includes many other things. Uh, do you have any question here, any word pronunciation? Okay, let's move on. Stock management. Uh, Jonathan Ariel, is it possible for you to read? Not possible. What about Monica Avalos? Okay, not possible either. What about Ana Hernandez? Okay, teacher. Okay. Stock management is often used as another term for inventory management, but it's important to recognize the difference between stock and inventory, particularly for companies involved in manufacturing products, stock gener generally prepares to finish product ready for sale or distribution. Inventory, however, includes everything in the war warehouse, home materials, materials that are in the process of being built into a product and finished product stop. Stock management is therefore a subset of inventory management that focuses spe specifically on holding a, as little stock as possible to save space and cost uh, while still big being able to meet customer demand. Very good, perfect, thank you. So stock management is not the same as inventory. <laughs> so this is another thing that is very important to check. It says stock management is often used as another term for inventory management, but it's important to recognize the difference between stock and inventory particularly for companies involved in manufacturing products. So probably if this is not a manufacturing product, stock and inventory are very, very similar. But if you are speaking about a factory, for example, where they create shirts or cell phones or any other thing, stock and inventory are totally different. So stock generally refers to finished product ready for sale or distribution. So stock is, I finish all the products and I have it there in the warehouse. I'm waiting for those products to be sold. So it's moved to uh, the delivery company or transportation department, anything like that. So, but inventory, however, includes everything in the warehouse, raw materials. What is raw materials? Do you remember? Materia prima, teacher. Very good. Raw materials, materials that are in the process of being built into products and finished products, stock. So as you can see, the inventory includes three things. 
Raw materials, there are all the materials that you are going to use to produce something. Materials in process, meaning that all the products that is, are still in process but not finished yet, and the finished products that are exactly the stock, the ones that you need to, to move so you can sell them. So stock management is a therefore. What is therefore? Do you remember? Sin embargo. Very good. A subset. What is subset? Okay, subset is like derivado. Es algo que va dentro de algo más. Okay. So, a subset of inventory. Management that focuses spe uh, specifically on holding as little stock as possible. Oh, that is very important. So, stock, when you are speaking about stock, you want to have not that much stock. Uh, the flow on the stock has to be very, very fast, very efficient. To save space and cost, of course, because it's expensive to have the product there in the warehouse. Every day that a product is in the warehouse is getting more and more expensive. So that is no good for the company. While still being able to meet customer demand. So this is why this is very complex because you have the demand of the public and you have the production. And in the middle, the stock has to be exactly the amount. So everybody, or all the orders are fulfilled successfully, but also you don't have a lot of stock uh, in the warehouse because that is too expensive. Good. Do you have any questions here on this slide? For me, not teacher. It's clear. Clear as horchata. Nice. So the other one says principles of warehouse management. Uh, Rene Molina, could you please help me reading this slide? Hello. Hello. Okay. And princi principles and warehouse management. Understanding the digit general principles of warehouse management can help your focus your effort to optimize the way your warehouse operate this principles include continue yes please now you propose purpose uh, warehouse propose and warehouse operation most first and foremost and no now it's ob objectives. For example, do you customers have a specific delivery requirements? Does your inventory need specially stores additionally and warehouse operation? I am to use warehouse space, labor and equipment as efficiently as possible. Comforts hence by. Lo dije bien, teacher. Comprehensive hence by. Comprehensive control. Comprehensive control. Warehouse management involves coordinating complex process involving many moving parts, people, equipment, order, equipment, equipment, equipment order, and inventory warehouse management. Manager, manager need to be able to track each process in order to ensure it's running smoothly and solve the problem that's inevitable inevitably inevitably occur quality control is critical to ensure order are fully fully led fulfilled fully, fully uh, accurately <laughs> very <laughs> good okay <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> all right so let's check it out 
principles of warehouse management. Do you remember what is principles? Principios. Very good. So principles of warehouse management. Understanding the general principles of warehouse management can help you focus your efforts. What is efforts? Esfuerzo. Very good. Your efforts to optimize the way your warehouse operates. These principles include, and the first one says, know your purpose. What is purpose? Okay, purpose, propósito. So you need to know your purpose. A warehouse operation was first and foremost. What is foremost? Okay, foremost is primeramente. Uh, and foremost, know its objectives. Of course, this is the first thing that we need to do. The objectives of the company, of the whole company. For example, do your customers have specific delivery requirements? This is a question that we need to check, right? If there are specific special requirements that the customers need. Does your inventory need specialized storage? Yeah, sometimes uh, the temperature is very important or uh, the way that you are going to handle the products. Additionally, all warehouse operations aim to use warehouse space, labor, and equipment as efficiently as possible. Of course, this is another thing that is very important. And the second one says comprehensive control. Warehouse management involves coordinating complex processes involving many moving parts. People, equipment, orders, and inventory. Warehouse managers need to be able to track each process in order to ensure it's running smoothly and solve the problems that inevitably occurs. So yes, uh, you need to understand everything so you can control everything. So you need to uh, be accountable for the people, for the equipment, for the orders, the inventory, and all the problems that may happen. That maybe we don't want them, but they are there. So it says quality control is critical to ensure orders and fulfilled accordingly. So that is a very good point. Uh, do you have any questions, uh, pronunciation or meaning of a word? Hey, teacher. Oh, teacher. Yep. Uh, that means that if you are, if you don't comply that or those principles you are not able to be a warehouse manager uh well maybe you are a warehouse manager but maybe you are going to have a lot of problems if you don't follow these principles so these are like the most basic things that you need to follow that you need to do so you understand and you manage everything in the proper way okay Good. Any other question? I guess somebody had a minute. Okay. okay. Let's continue with the next principles. Uh, let's see. Juan, could you please read only the first one? Okay. Uh, flexibility and res resilience. Warehouse managers have to be able to change plans on the fly, whether it is because materials have arrived damaged or because inclement weather is delaying shipments. It is also important to be able to adjust workflows to maxim maximize efficiency with their with their that involves rearranging re 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 warehouse space or remaining picking processes. Okay, perfect, thank you. So flexibility and resilience is the next one. Uh, what is resilience? Resiliente. Resiliente. Resiliencia, very good. So when you need to adapt depending on the situations, right? 
And then it says warehouse managers have to be able to change plans on the fly. What is on the fly? Okay, eh, es como cuando decimos al vuelo, rápido. So, very, very fast. Uh, that, is, that is very important. Sometimes there are problems or there are needs, different needs, and you need to change things right now. You don't have to wait for somebody to come and study things and create a process. So, you need to do it right away. So, that is on the fly. Whether it's because materials have arrived uh, damaged, or because inclement weather is delaying a shipment. Uh, what is inclement weather? Demencia Demencia del tiempo. Tiempo. Very good. <laughs> and delaying, do you remember what is delay? Retrasado or retraso. Very good. So <clears throat> that happens, right? That happens all the time. And it says it's also important to be able to adjust workflows. Do you remember what is workflow? entrenamientos, no. Mm, this is uh, como un flujo de trabajo. So, flujo de trabajo. Okay, very good. To maximize efficiency, whether that involves rearranging. What is rearranging? Rearreglar o reacomodar. Warehouse space or reimagining uh, what is reimagining reimaginando reimaginar picking processes so that is one of the biggest challenges that we have as a manager of a warehouse there are processes there are things that you have to do but sometimes many problems come and the production department can't wait or the customers can't wait so you need to adapt yourself very, very fast. Other than that, you might have a lot of problems, and that is not good. Uh, any questions on the first one, flexibility and resilience? Good. Uh, <laughs> customer, uh, thank you. Uh, customer focus, that is for OSEAS. Sorry. Uh, could you please read customer focus? Okay. Customer focus on time delivery with the correct product is one of the most important metrics when it comes to customer service and satisfaction. To deliver on time, you need to be able to fulfill orders quickly and accurately. Very good. So definitely everything in the company not only the warehouse not only the production not only the delivery not only the marketing everything is customer focus right everything is customer satisfaction so on time delivery definitely that is i believe that for everybody this is very important right so if you order something and they tell you on tuesday you are going to have that one and it's wednesday and you don't receive you are not happy right so you call the company, you say, hey, what's going on with my product? So, and also with the correct product, we discussed that before, right? So if you order something and you receive something totally different, oh, that is not good. It's one of the most important metrics when it comes to customer service and satisfaction. To deliver on time, you need to be able to fulfill orders quickly and accordingly. So this is very, very, very fast, but very accurate. Very, very good. Uh, Data-driven decision-making. That is for Maria Julia. Not possible for her. Let's see who else is still missing. Um, Ramiro, could you please help me reading data-driven decision-making? Yes, teacher. Okay. City and residencies. Warehouse managers have to be able to... Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it's the last one. 
data driven decision making. Excuse me. Okay. Guiding, guiding decision making. Even if every every warehouse process appears to be running without a um, heat, it doesn't uh, in processes or are operating efficiently as possible. Possibly, and we pinpoint and we need improvement. Very good, perfect. So data-driven decision making. Uh, of course, uh, data-driven mean it means that you are going to focus on the data of what is telling you to to do to happen, right? So even if every warehouse process appears to be running without a hitch, do you know what is a hitch? Okay, in this case, a hitch is interruption. Or a problem, it could be any of those. Okay, so uh, even when everything seems smooth, it doesn't mean processes are operating as efficiently as possible. So that is another thing that we have to analyze, right? So it's going to be maybe everything looks very good, but there is always chance to improve. Okay, and then it says a uh, WMS that is warehouse management system. Can help you pinpoint. What is pinpoint? Pinpoint. I'm sorry. Okay, pinpoint is como localizar con precisión. So, uh, can help you pinpoint and analyze areas that need improvement. So this is another thing that is very, very important, right? Because, uh, yes, what it says there is that maybe everything seems very good, but you need to continue analyzing to see if you can be faster or more accurately. So if you can improve anything, then uh, it's going to be a very good idea to check into that. Any questions here? No question. Very good. Teacher, Warehouse. Teacher, uh, huh? Excuse me. The the last slide in the last uh, concept. Um, what is the definitions? Uh, the w, 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 MS. Uh, yeah, it's warehouse management system. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Very warehouse good. management system. Good. Good. Any other question? Okay. So it says warehouse management processes. So if we have a system, of course, we need to have some processes into this. Uh, let's see who's going to do this one. Um, Roberto Carlos, could you please help me reading this? Let me. The warehouse man management process. Uh, yes, that's the one. Okay, warehouse management management includes six core process uh, management. Warehouse management. Yes. Okay, my okay management includes six core process. Each process influence influences the efficiency of the next. So every step must be optimized for the house, the warehouse, sorry, operation to run like a well-oiled machine. Failure. Checking on, uh, checking and low incoming items. Items. Uh, items. Verify that you are receiving the right quantity in the right condition and the right time. By the way, more items from the receiving duck to the correct storage location. Storage, roughly store and lo logically arrange 
and inventory to enable fast and accurate picking. Picking collect the items needed to fill, fulfill sales order. Packing prepare the picking items to shipment. They must be safely, safely, uh, safely, safely. packed. Safely, okay. Safely packed into the correct packing, uh, with a with an accordance packing slip. Shipping send out the finalized sales order, ensuring that they are on the right vehicle at the right time with the correct documentation, so customer receive their order on time. Very good, perfect. So these are the most basic processes that we have to manage in the warehouse. So warehouse management includes six core processes. Do you remember what is core? Nucleo. Nucleo, very oh, good. Okay. Nice, so each process influences the efficiency of the next. So this is why this is very important. If one process is not working well, all the things are not going to work well. So you need to work in the six processes, right? So every step must be optimized for the warehouse operation to run like a well-oiled machine. What is a well-oiled machine? Como una máquina bien aceitada. Perfect, that is it. So the first one is receiving. So receiving is when you receive uh, supplies or raw materials, right? Check-in and log incoming items. So this is very short, but it's very important. Check-in, meaning that you are going to see the papers, okay? On the, when you receive any raw materials and then check with the papers and the physical products, the physical uh, supplies to see if everything is fine. And log incoming items. So that means log in, is like uh, re, re, grabar or anotar. So log incoming items, meaning that then whenever you check that everything is correct, you are going to enter that into the system, into the inventory system. So uh, everything is charged into the inventory and everybody knows what's going on. Verify that you're receiving the right quantity in the right condition at the right time. These three things are very, very important. Right quantity, the right condition, and at the right time. If that accomplishes, then the receiving part is very well. So then we go to the second part, put away. What is put away? Anybody knows? This is actually a very common word, a very common expression. When you say put away is guardar. So you can say, I will put away, I don't know, the dishes, or I will put away the clothes, put away, guardar. So move items from the receiving dock to their correct storage locations. What is dock? Anybody knows what is dock? Okay, the dock is como un puerto donde se descarga todo el inventario en este caso. All right. So let's move to the number three, storage safely store and logically arrange inventory to enable fast and accurate picking. So look how many uh, important words are here. Safely is very important. So you need to store something very safe. Nothing wrong can happen to the raw materials or products. Logically, yes, because you have to have a system, right? Is in alphabetical order, is in orders of colors, orders of many things. So depending on that one, you need to, to arrange 
the inventory, right? To enable fast and accurate picking. So it's going to be very easy for anybody in the warehouse to go and get the products and move that to the next station. So that is very important. Picking, what is picking? Preciso. Mm, it's not that one, but picking is recoger. Recogiendo. Recogiendo. Very good. That is cosecha. Esa es la cosecha. Oh, something like that, yeah. So picking is like collect the items needed to fulfill the sales order. So you have everything in the warehouse, and then when somebody plays an order, you go and pick the correct product in the warehouse. You say, this is the one for me. And then you move on, right? Then we have uh, packing. Of course, that is the next step. Prepare the picked items for shipment. So you are going to put everything in a way that is going to be shipped out. They must be safely, another word that is another, again, this word is very important, safely packed into the correct packaging with an accurate packing slip. What is slip? Mm -hmm. Okay, slip es como eh, la viñeta o la información, el papel donde va la información de uh, lo que se va a enviar. So, that is something very, very important. So, uh, safely, with the correct packaging and with the correct information, so it's delivery correct. And the last one, of course, is shipping. Send out the finalized sales orders ensuring that they are on the right vehicle at the right time with the current documentation so customers see the orders on time. So as you can see here, we can see exactly what's going on, how you can create or, or what is important inside of a warehouse, okay? Do you have any questions about the six core processes of the management process? For me, teacher, uh, the word SNIP. Because the traduction is deslizar. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but you say is nieta. Uh, it could be something like that, yeah. Okay. It's like... But the, okay, but the... the, the the, my question is in the in the use of the word mm -hmm. because uh, uh, I, I understand that you use the word uh, for the context of the conversation or the, the text that you write or anything yeah but in this, in that case uh, when you use a slip of the just desire and Sleep home to vignetta uh, because uh, the case is I understand that in this case we uh, spoke about the product and but uh, I don't know uh, for me is is some confused that the use of the word uh, well that depends on the context uh, this is like camp right. If you say, I can go tomorrow, can is a verb. If I, if you say, I need a can of fish, it's another thing. So depending on the context, that's the way that you are going to use the word. Okay, okay. Good, perfect. Sure. Uh, let me check. We still have some other So, but what we're going to do here is an exercise, okay? So please write down the six uh, core processes for the management uh, in the warehouse. Receiving, put away, storage, picking, packing, and shipping. And this is the moment for us to work in groups. So what we are going to do is this. You are going to think about one product, any product that you may want, fruits, for example, or um, 
I don't know, cell phones, TVs, cars, and then you are going to uh, write how is going to be the process for e each of the processes. So for receiving, um, you are going to receive that warehouse. You are going to check, for example, if it's fruits, uh, what is the condition of the fruit, uh, if there are different kinds of stages of the fruit. So you are going to separate them and then how you are going to put away that one. So how you are going to do each of these processes depending on the product that you are going to choose. Uh, do you have any questions on the activity that we are going to do? A clear or chatter, teacher. Very good. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to create the groups right now so we can check into that one. Let's see how it goes. Here we go.
Excuse me, teacher. I have a problem with my internet. I, you can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, okay. Let me check if I can get you back. Uh, you were in the room four, right? Let's check. Uh, you can join again. I guess you have the invitation. Yes, uh, only uh, Oseas and me, but uh, uh, Oseas uh, can, can hear me. Ah, okay. Let me then move you. Let me just check something. Another group, please? Yes, let me just do that. Thank you.
Ahí está. Hello. Ok, ahí está. Teacher, queremos compartir la pantalla para que los compañeros agarren su fracción ahí. Por favor. Of course. Of sí. course. Por favor. Por favor. Ok, hoy sí. Hoy sí, ahí voy entonces.
Very good. Welcome back. And let's see what you have with these processes. Let's see. The first group is Blanca, Blanca, Mauricio Rivera, Roberto Carlos, and Sandra Gomez. So the microphone is yours. Okay, coach. Uh, we choose uh, a product, we choose cell phones to explain or process. Okay. First, uh, receiving. Uh, we need to check in the phones, uh, verify the right models, uh, colors, uh, specifications. Uh, the, the phones come with all the accessories, chargers, headphones, and in the right condition without damage and receiving on time. Uh, second, uh, put away. We need to move the phones from the receiving dock to the correct location. Uh, in our case, we have three different warehouse locations to can supply uh, the different zones uh, in the different stores with uh, the different models of, of cell phones. Blanca will continue with the other steps. Okay. No ear in Blanca, nothing. Yeah, I guess you're okay. mute. Activate your, your hey. microphone. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I am um, speak the storage. Storage the cell phone. Uh, with uh, storage the cell phone, uh, we say is the cell phone and flash the how to say it know that we know the different reasons uh, why it it will be a good idea to keep it safe. It is time to to see the different types tips with with which we will be able to keep the device in good condition so so that the passage of time does not affect its hardware. Uh, the packing is, um, the idea is uh, recollect the, the cell, cell phone um, the the clients uh, in 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 your pedidos uh, the, to the cell phone. So, so thank you. Next uh, partners. Hey, who's the next in the group? Next, Roberto. Sorry, but I don't activate the microphone. Okay. I speak alone. All right. I speak with myself. <laughs> and in the case, uh, the packing or the... What is the packing is the, the guest. Uh, the, uh, the packing had uh, any char characteristics or characteristics. I don't know what. Okay. Uh, 
for example, uh, is a, the holy Google say me that this, uh, they are two uh, sequential stages in order preparation. The first picking and the packing. And the picking represent the opening and uh, opening of an order and packing represent closing. Is the first day, first step in this case is uh, the picking and we, when we close the box, for example, is packing. It is for for uh, for send the, the, the product. And the definition of packing is the packing is the process of of and packing and packaging of product a product sorry this is a uh, the phase of the, the phase 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 phas phase okay and that follow of that follow after picking and the difference is the packing is the packaging that hold the product that it, that is it, the material that has direct contact with the contents. Uh, the packaging is the new, is the work, the wrapping, the writing together several units of the same product. In the end is the, the shipping, the last uh, item, uh, is the basic the physical moving of goods uh, from a point to another another point the one place to another place uh, maybe in ship maybe in the airplane maybe in train or another uh, middle that can you that can use for that uh, situation and is all for me okay very good perfect thank you very much and the next group is oseas ramiro rene and veronica okay get ready Do you? Yes, okay. I see. yes, yes, perfectly. Okay. I uh, to modify a Lexus bicycle and we order uh, the part from uh reable stores for the mo modif modify in in a car, a tuning car. This is a normal card and change for the for the carport competitions and tuning or buy the different parts in Amazon. Okay. okay. Uh, before and after H1 mini protector kits. Low high rims, pierced and tight space for what retroils, retrophies, and bow lamp and concrete bull, uh, tight H1 adapter plates, place platers to uh, type H4, H7 installation hardware sets, looks right rings. Each seven, each cord, adapter plates, rubber watchers. 
2.5 inch clear lens uh, in perfect condition package includes two mini projector lens lenses to send up installation accessories looking rinds h7 h4 adapter plates rubber brush watchers Okay. And Ramiro continue and explain for the different modification. Okay, okay. it's necessary for the modification this car, uh, this uh, completely different <laughs> imagine. Um, it's necessary to look at the storage uh, uh, is a for to modify a car with the special parts, uh, it's necessary to look for the stock and uh, uh, at a specialist distributor, uh, such as Amazon, uh, who send each uh, component properly protected and insured. Uh, in this case is an um, audio sound stereo amplifier, Mark Levinson original equipment manufacturer. About this is this is articulate precisely measure and laser cut uh, the door slot made as exclusive design for this uh, this model. Uh, uh, this is necessary uh, put the uh, the door like a uh, open uh, often uh, to up uh, like a. Uh, 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 wings okay uh, this is a sport only for north america rs vehicle uh, but is necessary import all the component all the component and compatibility with uh, our vehicle uh, with grad protection this is a high quality cushion for this is model and it can and can protect your car interior and in all aspects and it's very durable. We designing these uh, these materials uh, only for Amazon delivery direct to the El Salvador. Thank you. Okay. Uh, excuse me, okay. Veronica. Go ahead. Go ahead, Veronica. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. For the tuning card, we had to use uh, uh, we had to buy every part or cars parts. Uh, for do that, okay. Uh, property all weather material that was this heat up to one hundred seventy Fahrenheit and uh, a person rubber tile smith and you can wash them several times. Will you change your next car? Multi extent use. We provide a complete set of soft cushion that can be used in our X 350 2023 doors slot center console console slot cup cushion harness boxer ATC. Uh if you if you see that the chains with every part by by Amazon and the processes to logistics to uh, receive every part. We have to we have to receive, but by um, every process logistic. Okay. Así quedó ya modificado, digo. All okay. right, that's nice. <laughs> that you can they can say the final, okay? Final. We get, we <laughs> we have to get the chains and receive by Amazon. Nice. Very good. Perfect. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. Okay. So, nice, nice. So the next one is uh, Jonathan and Maria Julia. I guess they are not here, right? Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, we can't hear you.
Who cannot hear you? I don't know if you talk. No le podemos escuchar. Ahí está. Okay. Okay. We will buy to to one 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 thousand units of apple juice in in one in one lit unit from the Tegucigalpa, Honduras. Um, we make the order to receive it. The order for day it's late later. We receive the the product and check that is is meet the characteristics of the order unit quality uh, quantity um, uh, flavor is a uh, specific for the order. Uh, the the we we move the the unit to to sell to number two and three of the uh, uh, waterhouse. Uh, the order is the, the order in the place. Um, Juan Roberto. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that we received an order from a client from for 200 units to send to Sansonate. And so we prepared the shipment of the product in packages of 10 units. Uh, after that delivery, uh, we make we prepare a delivery note for the product. Uh, or invoice according to the cl client's requirements. And we ship we ship man the product by transport to Sonsonate in trucks. And uh, well, that's all. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much for sharing this interesting about yes, nice. And uh, the last one is Aida, Anna Hernandez, Ernesto, and Monica. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Oh. And can I sh share the screen? Of course. Okay, teacher. And, and, okay. Um, good evening, teacher and everyone. Um, with with my 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 group, discuss about the different product, and we select the smart TV uh, of 55 inch and in a specific brand, Samsung. And, and we create a company, company, the name is Aida, Ana, Monica and Ernest Distributor. Our company, a Guina project about of distribute the smart TV Samsung in El Salvador uh, for apply for apply uh, the six the six concepts and our company and was select for the quality of our warehouse management. Uh, the next slide, um, Aida explained the first two concepts. Go ahead, uh, Aida. Okay. Um, good evening, uh, classmates and teacher. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the receiving. Uh, in this part, the company need check, needs to check the character, characteristics. For example, the model, uh, the color, style, and uh, look for the place in some public establishment where customers are receiving the product. In this case, uh, the TV, smart TV, Samsung. Okay, um, the next part, uh, we have a poor weight. Um, in this part, the company needs to uh, save, uh, save the product and check all the, um, all the, 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 the information about how to carry this product, in this case, the, the, the smart TV. Uh, to preserve a thing on retained, retaining, preventing it from disappearing, being lost or altered. 
Um, okay, that's all for my part. Now let's continue uh, the next period. Okay. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my my part, the presentation is storage and establishment uh, that function has a warehouse storage in the way is associated with deposit certain elements in a certain space. Numerous are the physical space uh, that are used as storage for different products or items. And in other words, warehousing logistics is responsible for planning, organizing, and controlling the flows of materials and products in warehouse. In order to ensure the efficiency and effectiveness of operations, uh, continue uh, order picking. Okay. The item from the order are physically picked. Uh, from the warehouse shelves or storage location. Continue, Ernesto. Okay, Anna, thanks uh, for this part. And Anna, uh, the two last concepts is about the order packing and the order shipping. The order packing is uh, in our company, uh, the, the, the smart TV. These items are packed uh, securely into appropriate packaging such as box, boxes or and bulbs and and the last one the order shipping the pat orders are then labeled and prepared for for shipping and finally for the customer uh, in this this is our presentations um teacher and partners okay very good perfect thank you very much very interesting and uh, uh, very very creative so uh, very nice for everybody that you uh, now you uh, can check about the processes and uh, well this is the class for this monday so let's check about the attendance and then let's go to bed for a while so aida isabel lopez bonilla i'm here good ana veronica hernandez rodriguez present good blanca isabel tunaca rodriguez present good ernesto jose andrade medina Present teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Present Gilón. teacher. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Good. O sea, Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here. Nice. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present, Silvio... teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Okay. okay. So my friends. I'm here, I'm here, teacher. All right. It was a pleasure to be with you. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. See you tomorrow, teacher and partners. Hey, hey my the, the homework. Yeah. I ate pupusas in Bye. Olofrita yesterday. Ah, nice. <laughs> very good. Yeah, yeah I, I I feel I feel tired uh, at this moment. It's typical, working hard. Typical Carmencita. Oh my yeah, goodness. good. Roberto, oh. very good. Very good. Uh, I oh. recommend. Nice, yes. very good. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Okay, take care. Sorry. See you.